All right, hey guys, hope you're doing all and well and fine and dandy. Because this time, if you don't know who I am, I'm Fatman, I make David Iron content. And today, we're gonna be talking about a few simple things. I never gave my official thoughts on Valorant release date, I wanted to update it on the Valorant console. We're talking about that, so you don't get mistaken or whatever. Um, and there's a few other things I want to talk about this channel. Um, so many things I want to discuss. Um, if we go here, you see my MS Paint, I'm a fucking Picasso over here. Let's get this serious, okay? Um, Valorant console release date. Okay, I know I made videos on these, but it seems like the past few days I've been thinking, um, and I just I just think it's kind of different right now. I, th I think, you know, I used to say it's gonna come out this year. Now my thoughts are seriously different. I'm gonna be explaining why. So, we have a reason over here why it won't come out right now. Um, and one of these reasons is if they make a really good PC version, why would they make a Valorant console version this year? That's just my honest thought. There's no point in them in making it, unless more money for them, of course. But they can make shit ton of money from selling skins on the PC version first, and then when they sell enough skins on the PC version, so, you know, they are selling skins, or they're selling Radiantite points, or whatever you want to call them, that's how they actually earn cash. So, they want to get all the whales, all the big guys, all the rich people, all the boomers, um, you know, to, to give to give money, okay? So this is a guy with a hand um, And it's look he's giving his he wants he wants the skins, right? Um, he's a he's a PC gamer, you know um, And that's what they're trying to do get as many people to actually play the game while buying the skins as well to support the game or whatever so when that happens they want to get you know um, console players for that matter of course, it's pretty normal, to be honest, and I completely agree with them, to that matter, so they get, you know, console people to actually also buy, you know, uh, skins or whatever. Um, and I think, you know, for them to actually afford this, you know, for them to actually, you know, to dry out these big whales, if you get me. Sometimes my English is really weird, but hopefully you understand, you know, um, you guys been coming back. I check the comments always. I, I, I check. You're not even my fans. You're my kind of mates right now. Um, I see like five people each time commenting. I check comments every time, and it's freaking amazing. Um, seriously though, Valorant console release date. Let's 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 return back to that. Um, Valorant console release date is actually a huge thing because, well, they don't have to rush it. I thought they would have to rush it, but over some thoughts, why would they rush it if in 2020? They can just focus on milking it from, you know, the PC players. So, they can just focus on making the PC version god tier. They can just focus on making the PC version pretty good. They can just focus on ranked. And after that goes by, or after they lose all the money, they can just go to console and, you know, get our players there. And then they have, like, another quarter, which is, like, 2021. Um where they can basically in 2021 they can focus on tournaments you know getting people getting to the big screens so a, a bigger audience like for example you know all these people that like to watch you know these big tournament games and whatever um just my honest two cents you know that's that's what actually happens so if you don't know what this is this is actually a phantom you know um and these are the abilities or whatever and this is like the audience of people watching a tournament. Um, that's just my honest thought. So we look at this over here, 2020 PC. You know, we can make a ranked here in 2020. We can improve more agents, 15 agents, or I don't know how many agents they're gonna release. But why focus on console right now if they can just focus on it next year and mobile, 2022? Um, th those are big things. Um, and yeah. I used to say it's gonna come out fast, but now I just want to wait for more updates. I just, I kind of think, don't get me wrong, okay? So I did say it's gonna come soon, but in six months is pretty feasible goal. So I'm guessing early 2021 um, is actually a pretty, uh, pretty good goal to be honest. I think this is actually great. 
early 2021 is very good. This, that's six months. You know what? Six months. Six months is actually nothing. I've been making Valorant videos for three months before the quarantine, and this is crazy. This is actually pretty good. Um, a lot of people think like, yeah, but um, let let me get Valorant console, please, because I have console at home and I don't have a PC, guys. They don't really care if you have a Valorant console or not. What they care is what's most beneficial for them, focusing on the PC version or focusing on the console version. Um, they want to see a lot of demand for Valorant console, and there is a lot of demand for Valorant console, which you can see from my channel. However, you know, big mistakes come in here because they want to focus at, you know, the base foundation, you know. So the base foundation over here is, you see over these guys, the boomers that actually want to give money for skins and then the next base foundation is also the game itself you know um the game itself is actually pretty good right now i love it it's it's freaking amazing and what do i think of this i think i think this they can make the game work in about like they already finished the beta up they already made it working and it's doing great actually um and i think 2021 is actually a great year so, for example, if we'll look at CSGO, it's something that actually took many, 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 many years to develop and whatever. And I have the same feeling it's gonna happen with Valorant. In the first year, it's not gonna be as big. In the second year, it's not gonna be as big. But if we look at the games like League of Legends, Dota, uh, any game like that, it actually takes a long time to develop, to be honest. It, you know, it takes develop time to actually establish a community. It takes time to establish a user base. Same with YouTube, it takes the same time. I needed like three months or so for my channel to really kick off and it's doing really well, well right now. Um, so 2021 is actually the perfect year for them to get actually a bigger community because in 2020 they can just focus on making the game from alpha to beta to a full release to releasing more agents and then just porting the game, you know? Um, a lot of people aren't considering that. A lot of people don't actually think about the Honor console release date at all. And that's alright because I think for you. <laughs> Seriously though. I just think there's a lot of people that haven't considered these things. And I think you should give this a thought or two. Um, because I go more into detail about this. It's, it's a speculation in the end, sure. But it has some possible clauses to this. And one thing I really want to talk about is, you know... My channel is super, you know, most of the people that are actually new to my channel, most of the people that are actually watching that my content are either Valorant or from Valorant platforms that haven't released yet, right? Um, so that, that's, that's my channel right now. That's completely fine. I like that. I like people watching my content. I like people enjoying my content. Um, however, there's one more thing I want to consider is... Um, Ja going out genres, uh, so going to Valorant, there's a lot of things I want to do on my channel. One, for example, you know, giving away in the future, in a year or so, giving away a PS4 or giving away a PC. So that would be an awesome thing, that's that's one of my plans. But um, I want to make Valorant guides, I want to make Valorant, you know, um, tutorials, I want to make you know, editing for Valorant, Valorant ranked gameplay. I don't play Valorant that much as I like talking about Valorant console. But the idea of this is the same. You people really like watching platforms and I want to brand out. And I can't wait to actually get new info from Riot. And I've been thinking is writing a support for Valorant console. Um, I think that's a pretty good, or even setting up an interview. I don't, I don't know if I'm big, um... Uh, I'm big enough for them, but hopefully, if you guys want to see an interview on Valorant console, that would be crazy. Um, with an, Well, not with the CEO, of course, you need to be GameSpot or something like that. But I guess if we get some sneak peek from Valorant, Valorant developer, I think I have a big enough channel to actually uh, make them consider this. So, for example, if they get at least 5,000 new people interested for Valorant console, um, that's a huge thing. That's very important to them. So an interview, writing to support, that's one thing I want to do. That's my life goal <laughs> over here. But you know, just trying new things like maining an agent is one thing um, I haven't really considered on this channel. So uh, maining an agent and making guides only for him, I think that's a great thing to start off with. 
Um, I'm gonna choose an agent and actually make some decent videos for it. And maybe uh, the last thing I really wanted to say is double uploads. That's one thing I really like. Um, so why are you telling me this, Fatman? Why is this important? Because I want to tell you this. Because I want to know your opinions on this. Should I make an interview with, you know, for console with Riot? This most likely won't happen. The chance of this happening is, um, I'd say 10 to 15 percent, most likely. So why am I so productive? Because my Last of Us 2 stopped working or whatever. But hey, a man can dream, right? And um, yeah, that's that's my goal, to give someone actual PC or give enough money. I see streamers actually giving away PCs and I know a lot of guys don't actually have PCs. Um, so when I can actually afford to do that, uh, hopefully in the future, I'll definitely do that. And it will be fun. So maybe some of you, maybe one of you will have a PC at your home. So they won't have to think about a console anymore. That's just my final thought. Anyway, I have more Valorant console videos and more Valorant videos on my channel. Be sure to check them out and thank you for watching. Until the end, this is Fanon, signing out. Peace, guys.